Lately, we've been getting a lot of inquiries from customers about the different task management tools that are available in Microsoft 365. So we threw together this quick video to help you decide which tool is best for you. This video is going to focus on the four most common tools in Microsoft 365, which are to do loop planner and project on the web. To determine the best task management application for you, you should consider the following questions. First, am I managing a set of standalone tasks or a set of project like tasks that require a lot of organization and insight? Then you're going to ask yourself if you must be able to collaborate with others by assigning tasks and providing visibility on the set of tasks. Now the chart on screen will help to begin to direct you into the right application for your specific task management needs, but we are going to dive in a little bit deeper now. So we're going to start with our standalone task options first. The To Do app, this is your go to tool for personal task management. It is designed to help you keep track of your independent individual tasks, set due dates, and really prioritize your work day, your work week, or your month. It's available as a web application that's accessible through the Microsoft 365 portal or by selecting the To Do app in Outlook. Speaking of Outlook, you can flag important emails for follow-up, which converts them into tasks using the To Do app. The next application is the Loop application. Now, this is a standalone web app and desktop app that allows you to insert task lists onto loop pages or within loop workspaces alongside other component parts like content that you're drafting or ideas that you're gathering and brainstorming on and other items kind of like that. Now what's great is the loop task management template can be leveraged in Microsoft Teams chats and in Teams channel posts as well. This is where a lot of us have seen or interacted with loop so far. This is going to allow you to access the task management tool from within your collaboration hubs that you're already using, you already know, you already love. It can be leveraged as a very simple and basic personal task management tool or as a collaborative tool. Now, if we move on to our project or team driven task management applications, we have a couple of options at our fingertips. We're going to start with Planner, which is a fantastic task management application for the user who finds themselves looking for a task management app for themselves, for their personal tasks. Or maybe you have found yourself leading a smaller project or have a department wide initiative that you need to organize. Or maybe you just want an application to help manage teamwork tasks within your work group or department. Planner is an easy to use application for really straightforward task management that provides a lot of different organizational tools like buckets and labels, a lot of different visualization options through the different views that it provides you. It also gives you things like filters and groupings to help you view tasks differently and organize tasks differently. When you open up task cards in Planner, you can see subtasks or steps can be added to a task as well as attachments if needed. With Planner, you're also given some really great teamwork resources like a SharePoint site with a shared document library, a group email, and a OneNote notebook to help drive collaboration. If you require more than what Planner has to offer, you should check out Project on the Web, which gives you everything Planner has, as well as some additional advanced tools like the ability to add goals. You can add task dependencies. You can create project roadmaps and Gantt charts, resource management tools, and so much more. Project on the Web is designed for more complex project management, and it's really great if you need to manage multiple projects simultaneously. It provides the robust capabilities you need while maintaining that lightweight, easy to use interface that you see in Planner. 
Now, Project on the Web is not available in all Microsoft subscriptions, which means an additional license may be required for you to use it. Do you want to hear the best part? It doesn't matter which of these task management tools tasks have been assigned to you within. You can access all of them from either the Microsoft portal, from Microsoft Teams, from Outlook, or in Planner. Now, I am the crazy Teams lady. I spend 98% of my workday in Microsoft Teams, so for me, I'm gonna go to the Planner application there to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but from here, we can access one of two areas to help make managing tasks assigned to you from all of these applications really easy. First and foremost, this My Day area, it will take all tasks from all those applications that are assigned to you that have been given a due date of today and place them all here so that with the click of one button, you see everything you are accountable for here do today. This should be the first place that you visit at the start of every workday to help you better plan your day ahead. You can also add personal work tasks here as they arise throughout the day so that you can quickly and easily manage everything you must do today. Next in my tasks, you can see every task assigned to you regardless of the due date or if it even has a due date, uh, as long as it was assigned to you in Loop Planner or Project on the Web, all of those assigned to you tasks are pulled together here for you to work through. If you need to see the task card, select the ellipsis on that task and choose Open Details to either review or manage the items on that task card. And look at this, any task due on any day can be added to the My Day tab just at the click of a button here if you want to tackle any upcoming tasks ahead of their due date and add them to that section. And just really quickly, I want to show you that you can access these areas from the Outlook application as well or from the Microsoft 365 portal if needed. So here we can see tasks that are due today will show up, or we can select the to-do tab to see a few more upcoming tasks. Or if we wanted to jump right into that to-do app on the web, we'll just select manage all tasks. So everything is connected. As you can see with all of the applications and access points, Microsoft makes task management really easy. When deciding which tools to use, it all comes down to your specific needs and we hope this video helped to shed some light on the differences between these amazing task management tools.